What's going on guys? Judd Brock here with Judd Brock Fishing. Um, I wanted to do a little video today about um, a few of the soft plastic colors I'm using this time of year to catch trout. Uh, I got 10 different colors here, kind of 10 different soft plastics. Then I've got three different styles of jig head that I'm fishing them on. Um, kind of talk about those, the scenarios in which I use um, those jig heads and, and which ones work best when and why I'm fishing those. Um, all right, I'm starting with the paddle tails. So the first paddle tail I'm gonna go over is kind of what I've been fishing the most recently. Um, and that is the swim and trout trick. I've been fishing a few different colors of those, but what's really been working well um, is the opening knife, especially in the cleaner water. Um, it's a great color. It's kind of like a purplish, silverish, clearish kind of color. Um, very common color across the board for trout. Lots of people use this color, um, but it's been working really well for me um, from Wrightsville Beach, figure eight, Topsville Beach, all those creeks that are a little bit cleaner than fishing down around the river, down behind Mason Burrow. So I'm fishing this in cleaner water for the most part right now. I, I've fished it in dirty water as well, um, but, but the opening night color, I've really been fishing a lot in, um, in cleaner water. A few days ago, we had like a crazy cold snap. It was 32 degrees when I left in the morning uh, from the boat ramp and very hard to get the trout to eat. We did get some to eat though, and most of our bites were on the opening night swim and trout trick. The water temperature dropped about 10 degrees in two days, or, or less than two days really. And I was fishing these extremely slow on the bottom. You wouldn't even really feel the bite. You'd just go to bump it the next time and it would have a little weight there and it was a fish eating it. Um, and this color, we, we had a few bites on some other colors, but the majority of our fish came on the opening night swimming trout trick. Um, this bait's three and a half inches long. It seems like it's a little bigger than that when you get it on a jig head, but it's only three and a half inches long um, from front to back. Next uh, soft plastic I'm fishing, exact same. It's the swimming trout trick, but in the mood ring color. Um, it's a little bit darker. It shows up, you know, I feel like it's got a little more contrast in the water than the opening night. Um, but I'm fishing in very similar water conditions, um, a little bit cleaner water and working it slow, fast. It doesn't really seem to matter. It's um, it's been a really good bait though, the Mood Ring by z -Man. Um, the next paddle tail I've been fishing a lot, and this has worked well, really well in dirty water, as well as clean water. This is the uh, Saltwater Assassin Sea Shad, which is the shape of the bait, and then the Chicken on a Chain is the color. And that color is it's pretty cool. It almost looks just like a baby bass in the water, but the color, it's got a dark green back with like dark and red flakes or flash in there, little flakes of flash. And then a light colored body, it's a clear belly with like a, a lot of silver flash in there. So if you're sliding this across the bottom, oh, and it's got the, it's got a chartreuse tail as well, which um, I, I feel like the trout really key on that little chartreuse tail kicking back and forth. But this bait's real cool. If you slide it across the bottom, the fish are really just picking up on that dark profile on the back. Um, and seeing, seeing it move across the bottom, but if you have a mid water column and you're, and you're twitching it, it rolls on its side a little bit and it looks just like a Menhaden flashing, you know, mid, mid water column. So there's a lot you can do with this soft plastic. Um, and it's been, it's been really good for me in the dirtier water um, the past couple weeks. The next, um, next and last paddle tail I've really been fishing, very similar color green. It's the saltwater assassin. The shape of the bait is the little boss uh, and the color is Lane's Toad. This is another three and a half inch bait. The last saltwater assassin bait I was showing you, that's a four inch bait, a little bit longer. Doesn't really make a difference. Um, but this Lane's Toad color is just an all green with uh, black, gold, and red flakes in there. Um, just looks really natural. It's a good dark color. It really imitates any menhaden or mullet that are in dirtier water this time of year. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, and it's, it's honestly, it's worked really well in clean water for me too. Um, another cool thing about this bait is it's got the rib sides on it. Um, and so I feel like the fish really feel that moving through the water well. It's a lot like a Kytec bait, which is really popular in bass fishing. Um, you get some really cool movement, moves a lot of water. The tail is extremely thin and wide, so it has a really great kicking motion. Um, and again, that's the, that's the Little Boss paddle tail by Saltwater Assassin. Um, that's been a great one. And they have a ton of great colors. These, these are just happen to be the colors that I've been fishing. Really. All right, moving on to 
the trout tricks. I really like the trout tricks. Uh, I fished these, this shape bait, this style bait from early trout season all the way through the winter. All right, the first trout trick I'm gonna go over is the pearl blue glimmer. All these trout tricks are five inch baits. Um, real skinny, narrow five inch baits. This is kind of the, uh, the shape and I'll give you all a bunch of close up video of these um, so y'all can see in more detail these, these soft plastics I'm talking about. But uh, the pearl blue glimmer, very similar to the opening night, slightly different color. Um, but this has been a really good color for me. I've been fishing mostly in clean water. Will work great in dirty water as well. But I've been fishing kind of these these lighter colors in the cleaner water for the most part. Um, and the Pro Blue Glimmer, it, it's a great color year round. But I've been fishing a lot recently. The next trout trick color is the Root Beer Chartreuse. Um, I use this root beer a lot for um, redfish in the summertime um, in the dirtier water. But this color works so well for trout as well. Um, I've been fishing this down around Bald Head, the river mouth, the Cape Fear River mouth, over around Southport, um, and back around Buzzards Bay, Fort Fisher area, and even up into downtown Wilmington a little bit. Um, but this has been this has been an awesome bait for um, the dirtier water. Um, that root beer color blends in, but it's got a lot of gold flash in it, which really shows up nicely in the water as you're twitching that bait. That gold flash is is reflecting that light really well. Again, this is a really good soft plastic color, really year round, but also in the winter time. Um, the last trout trick color I'm gonna go over that I've been fishing, it's, it, it looks a lot like the root beer in the water, but slightly different. It's a plum chartreuse. So it's got this purple body with blue flakes in it and a chartreuse tail. Working well in, in a lot of water conditions, but I've been fishing this mostly in the dirty water. One thing you'll notice about these trout tricks though, they're longer baits, they're five inches and they're skinny. And the chartreuse tail, I feel like really helps fish key in on that bait. But sometimes you feel like you're getting a lot of bites and you're going to set the hook and there's not a fish there. Um, one thing I've noticed is sometimes they key in on that, on that chartreuse tail and they eat that tail and they're not getting that whole bait. And one thing I'll do if that's happening, if I feel like chartreuse is the color, sometimes just switch completely over to a chartreuse bait, whether it be a trout trick or even just a smaller paddle tail or fluke style. Um, or you can even just cut that chartreuse off and still fish this like a little soft plastic stick bait almost, and they eat it really well. So if you feel like they're just eating the color tail, you can always snip that tail off, especially on this style bait. So um, those are the trout trick colors that I wanted to go over. The next style of soft plastic I'm fishing is uh, just your basic fluke style. These are all Z-Mans here, uh, but I've got a few other flukes, but these are the ones I've been throwing the past few weeks that seem to be working really well, so this is what I'm gonna talk about. But these are all scented jerk shads by Z-Man. Um, they're all four inch baits. The first color that I've been fishing in this is um, just all white. Sometimes all white is just so overlooked. Don't be afraid to just go back to white, because sometimes white is the ticket. Um, the nice thing about white is it just kind of takes up whatever water it's in. It's gonna fish well in clear water, it's gonna fish well in dirty water, brackish, salt water, whatever it is. White seems to work really well. Um, I haven't been fishing white as much lately, but I, I, it's one that I always come back to and if I, if I feel like I'm searching through different colors, white is one of the first ones I'm always gonna put on and try. The second color uh, center jerk shad I've been fishing a lot is the smoky shad. This is a really great color, really cool color. It's got kind of a lighter belly, a little white belly, and it's got a grayish, almost black, but I'd call it a gray back on it. Uh, it's got like a like a dark blue and a silver flake in there. It really is a cool color. It's a lot like a mullet in the water. And um, as you know, fishing those flukes, you know, they're real darty and kind of spastic. They're really good baits, um, really good soft plastics for trout. And these, this size bait works really well. It, it's, it seems like a small fluke, but it fishes really, really well. Um, and the last Cine Jerk Shad color I've been fishing is the Nuked Pilcher. Really similar to the Smoky Shad, um, but slightly different color on the back. It's a, kind of a dark blue with blue flake in there. And the blue flakes kind of extend down in the belly as well. But really cool color. Looks a lot like a mullet in the water as well. Also can look a lot like a Menhaden, but I think these two, these two colors resemble, you know, dark, kind of dark colored mullet in the winter really well. Um, I fished this a lot recently. Um, it seems to fish really well in these cold days. You can just barely pick it up off the bottom. So there's been three different eye strike jig heads I've been fishing most of these soft plastics on. Um, they all kind of 
fill a different little niche that I need. But um, the, the first one is just your basic redfish eye. This is a one fourth ounce redfish eye. Um, this is a great, great jig head. They've got these, the eye strike really focuses on putting a big eye on these jig heads. That's kind of their thing. Um, I feel like it's real, real easy for those fish to key in. When they see that eye, they see that soft plastic off the back. It looks really, really, all soft plastics look really, really good on these jig heads. But it's got two great bait keepers on here. Keeps your soft plastics up for a long time, especially these Z-Mans. I'll use this jig head um, when I don't have much that I'm worried about hanging up on. Uh, if it's real oystery or real grassy, I'll fish something different. But this, this is a great jig head if you're fishing sand bottom, um, if you're fishing mud bottom without too many oysters. Um, the Redfish Eye 1 4 ounce jig head's great. I've also been fishing the 3 16 ounce jig head a lot. Um, they b both work great. Kind of just depends on what depth you're fishing and how fast you want that jig head to fall and that bait to fall. Okay, the second eye strike jig head I want to talk about is the Texas Eye. Um, this is a really cool jig head, really different than your basic jig heads. Uh, it's got this lead head out front um, with this heavy gauge wire coming off the back and then this worm hook attached to that. So you've got so much movement and, it's, and it makes the bait extremely weedless. I really like fishing this in heavy cover. If I'm pitching up underneath docks or uh, trees that are down in the water, um, anything like that, this works really well. You can slide it over stuff real easily and you can keep that soft plastic buried in that worm hook, which makes this thing just extremely weedless. Um, the other cool thing is they put this piece of lead here on the hook shank. So when you slide your soft plastic up above that, um, it really holds your bait on there for a long time. You can typically catch a lot of fish on one of these. Um, so this is a great option for fishing for trout and heavy cover. The third and last jig head I've been fishing is also by Ice Strike. This is called the Weedless Eye. Um, I've been fishing this a lot around oysters, grass. Um, it, it works real well. You'll still get a little bit of grass sometimes on here, but for the most part, it's gonna keep the grass off of your hook. So it's got this, this wire that, that's built into the mold right here on the front of the head of the jig head. Um, then it comes through the eye of the hook and you can either let it come in and just rest on the point on the tip of your hook. But what I like to do is I'll put it right behind my barb. I feel like it stays on there a little bit better, but it still releases extremely easy uh, when the fish eats. So even those real soft trout bites, you can typically still get the hook buried in the fish. The weedless aspect of this hook is awesome this time of year because you've got so much grass, the snot grass that just grows on the bottom, especially in, in that, on that sandy bottom, a little bit harder bottom. And you fish a normal jig head, and every cast you've got grass coming off the back of your hook. So this is a really good option for if you're fishing, you know, soft plastics on the bottom. Another thing is uh, Procure is something I use a lot of. I don't use it as much in the summertime when it's warmer and there's lots of pinfish and other trash fish around that are already just tearing your bait up. But in the winter time, especially when it's really cold, I feel like loading up with Procure definitely helps. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. I hope that your next time on the water this winter, we'll, uh, you'll be able to apply some of the things we talked about today and it'll, it'll help you out. So I will see y'all next time. Thanks for tuning in.